And, uh, howdy do! Hey there, I am. Da -da 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 -da. I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, and you're drinking with the Beer Whisperer. And I got this actually a couple weeks ago, and for some reason I just hadn't got around in a video for it. It is Pumple Drumkin from Cisco Brewers Nantucket. I actually can't get these here. I picked these up in Arkansas, which kind of baffles me a little bit. This is out of Nantucket, Massachusetts, yet they distribute it to Arkansas, but not Missouri. I'm trying to figure out the logistics of the map that a distributor gets to Arkansas before it gets to Missouri from Massachusetts. I'm not figuring that out, but uh, nevertheless, that's what it is. So let me pour a little bit here, and I'll read some. Pour is very nice. I hadn't had this before. I'm kind of past the point of pumpkins, but since I hadn't had it, I really wanted to give it a shot. It's 6%. It's got beautiful aromas. You certainly can't smell some spices. It's almost got a, a smell like a like a like salty caramel. Let me read from their bottle here. I've looked at their website. Website doesn't say much other than it's six percent. Um, on Nantucket, a pumple named Drumkin brewed up some great ale with his pumpkins. One and all came to savor the delicious flavor and then wobbled around like bumpkins. How about that? That's poetic. I'll tell you that right now. At Cisco, they thought, this is delish. Let's make some more because we wish. See that rhyme? See how that well, That's amazing. Uh, to please all the tourists and locals and purists with the best ale we can accomplish. Okay, well, I was hoping to give me some actual information about the beer, uh, but it do not. I'm going to assume there's pumpkin in here, but it doesn't say. I'm going to assume there's spices in there, but it don't say either. Well, slap my ass and call me Sally. But you can't smell spices in here, so I'm going to assume there's spices in there. Tasting a little cinnamon, maybe. I definitely can taste some nutmeg. That's that's apparent. It's nice. It, it, it's good. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of uh, of Mother's Mr. Pumpkin. Um, this one's 6%. That's 5%. You know, this one has a little more ABV, but you really can't tell it by the taste. There is a bit of a salty taste to it that I find very interesting. Um... Truthfully, this runs about ten dollars a six pack. There's other beers I can buy here, you know, for about, you know, I can get Mother's Mr. Pumpkin, for instance, and generally for about eight dollars a six pack. So um, would I buy this again? Probably not, but I'm glad I tried it once because it is a little different than, than some others out there. It's very similar to the Mr. Pumpkin, though. But it is nice to try something. Well, truthfully, um. I may use, I've got a few bottles left, uh, and, and I'll probably end up drinking them, uh, but um, I may use one bottle or two, you know, to marinate something or other, because I, I really think this would be an awesome marinade on, on on a holiday something or other. You know, it would be good on poultry, I think it would be good on ham, uh, if you're doing a pork roast, you know, whatever you may be doing. Uh, if I come across something, I may do a marinade with it and, and, and see what happens, but it, it's a decent beer. It doesn't knock my socks off. To be honest with you, there's not one thing in the flavor that makes me go, wow, sup, bitch. But, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with it either. It, it's pretty solid. I mean, it runs, again, it runs about $10 a six pack. That's not crazy by craft beer standards, but I don't think it's anything I'd go out of my way for again. But it is good and it's solid. I recommend drinking it once. So there we go. Let me show the bottle one more time. Like the label. What the hell, right? Uh, Pump Old Trumpkin. Ale brewed with pumpkins and spice. Oh, it does say that. See, now if I had read that whole label. See, my glasses hadn't focused in when I first picked it up. I was reading that, right? But it does say brewed with pumpkin and spices, son bitch. So I was wrong, damn it. It does say right there on the label. I just hadn't read it yet. So there you go. There you go. And there you go. I'm coming to Beer Whisperer. Ooh, I'll be back.